Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel RF Design Basics. Today in this lecture we are going to study about full adders. In this lecture we will cover what is full adder, what is the logic circuit inside the full adder and how to design a full adder using two half adders. So first of all what is full adder? A full adder is a combinational circuit which adds three one bit numbers and gives output as sum and carry. So a full adder so a full adder will have three inputs and two outputs. These three inputs will be one bit numbers and output will be sum and carry. So let's say these inputs are A, B and C in. These three inputs can be either three one bit numbers or two one bit numbers and a input carry. Now we will see what is this input carry. This input carry is carry from the previous sum. So this is carry from the previous sum when full adders are connected in casket to design a parallel adder. So what this parallel adder does? This parallel adder is used for n bit number addition and for n bit number addition we need n full adders connected in cascade. We will see how this input carry works with an example. Suppose we have to add two two bit numbers. First two bit number is one one and second two bit number is zero one. We have to add these two numbers. So for this addition we need two full adders. So for 2 bit number addition we need 2 full adders for n bit number addition we need n full adders and these 2 full adders will be connected in cascade such that the carry output from this first full adder will act as c in of the second full adder now we will see how this adder works so if we will start from the lsb this is the first bit a1 a1 and b1 this is a2 and this is b2 so this is lsb this is msb we will start from the lsb and we write the numbers so here it is 1 1 in this case c in will be 0 so what will be the sum sum will be 1 plus 1 that will be 0 with carry 1. So write here carry 1. So this carry will act as the C in of the second full adder. So C in of the full adder will be 1 and this is 1 and 0. 1, 0. So what will be the sum in this case? In this case sum will be 0 plus 1 plus 1 so sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 so output of this addition will be s1 s2 and c2 so this is 0 0 1 in this way uh, we can add n bit numbers using n full adders and uh, now we will see what is the logic circuit inside this full adder for that we will write the truth table for this input and output combination. Here I have written the truth table for the full adder. We know in full adder there are three inputs A, B and carry in that is C in and there are two outputs S and C out carry out. So these are the combination of three inputs and these are sum and carry of this combination. Based on this truth table I have written the boolean expression. I have written the boolean expression for sum 
in SOP form that is sum of product form. Here each term represents the row where we get the sum 1. For first row sum is 0 for this no terms in boolean expression. For second row sum is 1 so expression will be a bar b bar and c in. So first term is a bar b bar and c in. Similarly second term will be a bar b c in bar a bar b c in bar and similarly we can write expression for all this so this is the full expression boolean expression for the sum based on this truth table now we have to simplify this boolean expression in first and fourth term c in is common so we will take it outside so we will write a bar b bar plus a b in bracket multiplied by c in and then uh, in second and third term we will take c in bar outside so this will be a bar b plus a b bar multiplied by c in bar we already know the expression for a x or b that is a bar b plus a b bar or a bar b bar plus a b whole bar so these two are the expression for a x or b so we can write this a bar b bar plus a b as a x or b whole bar and a bar b plus a b bar as a x or b if we consider this a x or b as single term then we can write this expression as a x or b x or c so this is the expression for sum of full adder We can also write this expression using K map or Carnot map. Since there are three inputs, we will have eight cells in the Carnot map. We will write the variables A, B, C in A, 0, 1. This will be 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 0 and 1 1 we are writing this k map for sum so we will see where are the ones and we will write the one in corresponding cell so for 0 0 1 it is 1 0 0 1 it will be 1 similarly here 1 1 and 1 so this is a checkerboard configuration in k map here we can't group ones with each other so for this checkerboard configuration the output will be xor of all the inputs so sum will be a xor b xor c in or you can write the full expression that will be uh, same as this expression and it will also give a xor b xor c in now we will write the boolean expression for carry out that is c out we will write this boolean expression in sop form and for that we need each term for these rows so this is the boolean expression in sop form for c out each term corresponds the row where c out is 1 for simplification in first two terms we can take c in out so it will become a bar b plus a b bar multiplied by c in and last two terms we can take a b out so it will become a b multiplied by c in bar plus c in so we can write this as a x or b multiplied by c in plus a b this is c in bar plus c in so it will become 1 so a b so this is expression for c out we can write the expression using k map also we will write the variables
we will write 1 in the corresponding cells where uh, C out are 1 and then we can group it. So, we will have 3 groups here, first group, second group, third group. For first group, the expression will be AC in, for second group, it will be BC in and for third group, it will be AB. So, we can also write C out as AC in plus BC in plus AB. So, these are the two expression for C out. Now we will design the logic circuit for full adder. For that I have written the simplified boolean expression for sum and carry out of full adder. Here we can see sum is a x or b x or c in. So we need two x or gates to realize the sum of full adder. Suppose we give A and B to this first XOR gate, so output will be A XOR B. And when this A XOR B is given as input to the second XOR gate along with C in, this is the third input, it will give A XOR B XOR C in. So this is the expression for sum a x or b x or c in a x or b x or c in this is sum of full adder. For designing carry out we have a x or b here c in here and a and b here. For the first term a x or b dot c in we need to add and get between a x or b and c in. So we will add one and get here. What will be the output? Output will be A XOR B dot C in. And for second term, we need another AND gate between A and B. So we will add one more AND gate here. So this will give A B, A dot B. For realizing C out, we need to add these two terms A X or B dot C in plus A B. So we need to add one OR gate between these two output ports. And the output will be A X or B dot C in plus A B. So this is our carry out. This is C out. We can design this C out using another method that is using three different AND gates and one three input OR gate. So input will be A B A C in and B C in. So output will be AB plus AC in plus BC in. Now come back to the first circuit. We know that half adder is a combination of an XOR gate and AND gate. If this is given as AB, so output for half adder is a x or b for sum and a b for carry. So this is the logic circuit of full adder. If you see this circuit closely, you will find this full adder circuit is combination of two half adder circuit, one here and another here. So this is first half adder and this is second half adder. So it is combination of two half adders. So we can design a full adder using two half adders. Let's draw the two half adders. So 
suppose this is half header 1 and this is half header 2. So for first half header, the inputs will be A and B. The output for first half header will be A XOR B for sum and A B for the carry. Now this A XOR B will be given as one of the input to the second half header. Here the second input will be C in. So this half header will produce sum as a XOR B XOR C in and carry as A XOR B dot C in. We can see here this term A XOR B XOR C in is same as this term A XOR B XOR C in. So this is the sum term of full adder and for finding the carry out of the full adder we need these two terms a xor b dot c in and a b so a xor b dot c in is here and a b is here for summing these two terms we need one or gate one or gate and this will give carry out c out a xor b dot c in plus a b so this is how we design a full adder using two half adders i hope this video will help you in understanding the full adder topic thank you